Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2023 Hit Parade Baseball Mixer Edition. Series one, two box Ram Team break number two. So it's a first ever mixer in a box basically. There'll be a sealed hobby box. Could be uh, any one of these, a Dynasty box, a Sterling box, or any one of these boxes. That's pretty nice. There's that and then there's two sealed Hit Parade boxes. So pretty interesting stuff. Let's check it out. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Thanks to the people who got their spots straight up. Congrats to the people who won in those two filler breaks. All 30 teams are in, no combos. Let's roll it, randomize it. Six and a five, 11 times each. Names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11th and final time. After 11, we got some Allens down to Nick. And then six and a five, 11 times for the baseball teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11th and final time. Got the Toronto Blue Jays down to the Pittsburgh Pirates. And here's how it shakes out for everybody. Allen with the Blue Jays and Royals, Chris with the Marlins and A's, Cameron with the Nats, Mark with the Red Sox, Allen, Last Spot Mojo, Rangers. Mark with the Brew Crew, Chris with my Dodgers and the Padres, Cameron with the Rays, Luke with the Guardians, Michael with the Diamondbacks, Jimmy with the O's, Eugene with the Twins, Joe with the Giants, John with the Tigers, Stephen P with the Cubs, Chris with the White Sox, John with the Mariners, Andy with the Yankees, Mark with the Rockies, Kevin with the Braves, Matt with the Mets, Jimmy with the Phillies, Michael with the Cardinals, Eugene with the Astros, Mark with the Reds, Christopher with the Halos, and Nick with the Buccos, the Pittsburgh Pirates. It's alphabetized by name here. Now, there is a trade window. The trade window is open, so feel free to trade. If you like, when we come back, we'll have the break, so stick around and we'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back, boys and girls. No deals were done, so that list you saw on the previous screen remains the same. There's the final printout right there. Boom, boom, boom. There's everybody. Thank you, everyone, for getting in. Now, let's, uh, let's do this box first. There it is, Baseball Mixer Edition Series 1. 34 out of 50. They did not make very many cases of this. What is, does anyone remember the hobby box that Jason pulled in break one? I think it was Jason. My phone, nice in my back pocket here. And anyone remember the, the two hobby boxes that popped out of here? Well, this one is gonna be a series two box. And then there's the two hit parade boxes Nestled in there, let's grab those. Obviously we'll do those last. Nothing else, no other present hiding in here? No, nothing else in there. You know, I suppose I should see the other, oh, there's a box topper right there. I suppose I should see, uh, what the other hobby box is. This box feels a little bit lighter. Is that a good thing? Maybe. And it's, oh, it's a top finest box. 2023 edition. We'll do that. And then we'll close with the four hit parade boxes. Right there, mixer edition. They built a mixer for us. It's awfully nice of them. And nothing else in there. All right, good luck, everybody. No one, no one remembers the hobby box is Jason Cole. It's 
It's award season for baseball. And you've heard me say this many times. Uh, is the, the, the way they do it, not a fan of it, but but I guess they're, they're doing the all MLB team nominees, I guess. Which I suppose is interesting. I don't know. The, uh, I guess they're, they're taking a page from the NBA, right, with the all NBA teams. So, I think they only started this just a, a, a couple years ago, I think. So we'll see how they, that impacts anything. Uh, Angels made a move today. They hired uh, old Ron Washington as their new manager. He's got a lot of experience under his belt. So let's see if he if he's gonna have Otani in his lineup next year or not, as the case may be. But with or without, I feel like I feel like he can shepherd a team pretty well. Alright, so let's just breeze through these. We got a Mark Vientos and a Wilson Contreras, 241 out of two. Oh, and Jeremy Pena is back here too. 241 out of 299 for the Cardinals. That's going to be for Michael. Is that the news? Bryce Harper is just going to be permanent at first base? It's a Corbin Carroll rookie card. Josh Young. There's Otani, and there's a Jameson Tyon gold. Wait, who is that? Someone else was playing. Someone else is playing first. Ooh, nice. Major League material. Jersey and auto. Speaking of the Phillies, Aaron Nola. And that'll be for Jimmy and the Phillies. He's a free agent, I think. 32 out of 50. Nice. That's where the spot he got straight up. interesting. I feel like someone else is at f first, so that person maybe is not going to be playing first anymore. There's a Miles Mikolas, there's a there is a JP Crawford to 499. For the Mariners, that'll be for John. The Jake Berger is a 2023. That will be for Chris. Does that MLB trade rumor article mention who was, because I don't think, who was playing first before? Harper came back. There's Lane Thomas. Someone was that, right? So where does that? I feel like that player has to go somewhere. Jared Walsh, got an Adley Rushman, yeah, Bellinger is going to be one of the top free agents of the offseason. It's somewhat of a lighter free agent class, at least relative to some recent years, but 
That's going to help him for sure. Didn't, his, didn't Bellinger's dad used to play for the Yankees? So there may there there may be some some dot connecting that's happening there. There's Jeff McNeil and there's Victor Carantini to 2023. There's a Volpe, let's save a Yoshida as well, just for funsies. Maybe a Jordan Walker, might as well. Ah, Reese Hoskins was the first baseman. That's right. So where does Reese Hoskins go? So he's got to go somewhere. Out, outfield, maybe? So Reese Hoskins gets moved to the outfield. I guess it's probably safer for Bryce to play first base. So just make a couple adjustments here. Oh, Reese Hoskins is a free agent. All right, that's interesting. Could be a nice, uh, be a nice bat off the bench, a little power bat off the bench. Maybe play every day for some team. There's Mike Piazza, piece of his lumber. Matt Arnold with the Mets. Twenty-three out of fifty. Dansby Swanson, and there's Ken Griffey Jr., home run RBI leader. These are manufactured relics, but they still look pretty cool. Mariner, Seattle, that's going to go to John. That's sort of an interesting thing to to declare at the moment. You know, Hoskins is already a free agent, so I mean, they're essentially saying. I mean, I don't know why that would even be public information. Why that would even be, or if that was leaked purposely for some reason. He's already a free agent. He's, there, there's no obligation for the Phillies to say anything to him. You know, so if they don't extend him a, extend him a, a, a contract, you know, I think I'll do the silver packs, right? Isn't that a weird thing to, to, to declare? It's like, hey, person that's a free agent. Oh, I guess GM meetings are happening this week, right? So maybe that's why there's like news happening, but.
Yeah, the courtesy, I mean, I don't know, do baseball teams give players courtesies like that? You trade them in the blink of an eye. But like, why even mention that publicly though? He'll know when they don't extend him a contract, <laughs> when they don't off make him an offer, make him an offer. What courtesy are you showing to a person who's not a, who's a free agent, who's not employed by your team anymore? And if, even if they didn't want him at first, if they did offer him a contract, they would just tell him and his agent. All right, finest, and then we'll get into those hit parade boxes. And we'll see what's in there. I think there's two cards per box, is what the uh, description says, what they told us. This finest is not too shabby either. Good luck, everybody. There's a Corbin Carroll rookies insert. Hunter Green to 300, and a James Altman rookie auto. Nice. It's going to be for Chris and the Dodgers, little Dodger Joe Mojo. That's a nice autograph. Another Corbin Carroll. We got a Wilson Contreras, Aqua Shimmer to 175. Yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah, maybe maybe it's just, it's just breaking news. It's headliner is insert. Well, I'm looking at an article on MLB.com right now. Yeah, F Harper just, uh, I guess, president of baseball operations. Dombrowski told reporters on Wednesday, the GM meetings at Scottsdale that the Bryce Harper will be the everyday first baseman in 2024 and beyond, likely ending Hoskins' time in Philadelphia. Hoskins tore his ACL in late March, leaving without a first baseman. Moved to him to play first, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I guess they called Hoskins on Sunday to tell him about the team's decision. Well, why would they tell him if he's a free agent? Anyway, we'll see where we'll see where Hoskins ends up. There's Luis Castillo, 22 out of 99, green lava. For the Mariners, that'll be for John. And wow, a red Sean Green, Dodgers edition, four out of five. Both autos were Dodgers. It's like a personal box for Chris, who won that spot in the filler. Won that spot in the filler, got randomized the Dodgers. That's awesome. And out of fives and under, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -hoo! Pretty strong. Definitely a fan favorite around here. There's Nick Prado, 202 out of 250 for the Royals. And Ethan Small is another autograph. Are we supposed to have? Two autographs a box, we got a bonus. Ethan Small, Mark with the Brew Crew. Yeah, well the article says that they actually, they, the team and Bryce Harper discussed it. So I don't think it was a demand one way or the other. I think it was just a discussion. Hey, we think we want to, you know, you played outfield a lot. Maybe we'll want to put you at first. Gives us the best chance to win, I'm sure is like the usual 
company line. All right, hip parade boxes. Good luck. Should see some real nice stuff in here. Real nice. All right, we've got definitive Don Mattingling, Donnie Baseball. Piece of his lumber and his autograph, 31 out of 40. Yankees, Andy with the Bronx Bombers. And then we have Jordan Lawler. Nice Bowman Chrome autograph for the Diamondbacks. That'll be for Michael and the Snakes. All right, now let's see what's in here. This one should have a graded card. Yeah, there's the graded card. We're gonna save that. And we'll do the other card first, the other encased card. And it's a nice one. Austin Riley, Rookie Auto. 48 out of 50 from Bowman's Best. Braves, Kevin with the Bravos. And your graded card looks like a vintage card. It's Frank Robinson from 1966, Topps Baseball. Graded out at a six, which is not too shabby from a card from the mid-60s. That's awesome. And that'll be for Boston, or Boston, Baltimore, Jimmy, with the Orioles. Nice, with a spot that, uh, with a spot that he won in the filler. I think Frank Robbins still the only dude to have an MVP both in the NL and AL. I don't think any, no one else has done that, right? I think Betts had a chance. I think he's an MVP finalist. I don't think he's going to get it. Though. All right, that's the graded card way back there. And here is Jose Ramirez. 79 out of 150 from 2019 Tribute Baseball. Cleveland, this is for you, Luke, with the Guardians. We're going to do that graded card a little bit later. Let's see, let's see what's in the other stuff first. Uh, I did not see Bellinger getting Comeback Player of the Year, but that, that makes sense. One of the only things you predicted and got right. Every dog has its day, Rex. A broken clock is, is, is correct twice a day. Twice, twice a day? I don't know. I don't know that saying. Uh, oh, and another graded card in here. Bonus graded card. All right, first one is Mike Trout. Wow. What a patch. What an autograph. Two out of five. That's pretty strong. That's going to go to the Angels. Christopher, Christopher C. Got randomized the Angels, congrats, man. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -hoo! All right, what do we got here? Graded cards, PSA 9, Ken Griffey Jr. From 1989, Fleer. How young he looks there. Nice, Seattle, John with the Mariners. And the other graded card way back there is, hey, Mike Stanton from 2010 Bone Chrome Baseball, PSA 10. Rookie edition. Who we now know as Giancarlo. Very nice. This is Marlins edition, and that's gonna go to Chris M. That's pretty sweet. Nice. There you go, gang. Hit Parade Baseball Mixer Edition Series 1. Great job by Hit Parade as always. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.